You know Yellowstone, that stunning national park filled with geysers, bubbling springs, and wild beauty. But what if I told you all of that is just the surface? Beneath the forests and the bison herds is something far more powerful. Something massive. Something dangerous. It's not a machine built by humans. But scientists still call it the doomsday machine. And if it ever erupts again, it could change the world forever. Most people come here to see the geysers and the colorful hot pools. It looks like a slice of paradise. But here's the wild part, those steamy vents and boiling pools. They're not just for show. They're pressure valves for something huge beneath the ground. Yellowstone sits on top of a super volcano. And it's not your average mountain. In fact, it's not a mountain at all. It's an underground monster. A massive cauldron of magma stretching dozens of miles wide. You can't see it, but it's there. And it's alive. So here's how it works. Under Yellowstone, there are two magma chambers. One sits about five miles down. But the other, it's way deeper. And way bigger. Together, they hold enough molten rock to bury entire cities. And every now and then, all that pressure gets too much. And when that happens, the ground blows sky high. Not like Mount St. Helens or a lava flow in Hawaii. We're talking about an explosion so big it could blot out the sun. This isn't science fiction, it's happened before. About 640,000 years ago, Yellowstone erupted, and it was absolutely devastating. The blast was so strong, ash fell as far away as the Gulf of Mexico, covered huge parts of North America. Entire species were wiped out. If something like that happened today, millions of lives would be at risk, not just in the U.S., but all over the planet. Let's imagine the worst-case scenario. Yellowstone erupts tomorrow. First comes the explosion. Everything within a 60-mile radius is gone in seconds. Towns, trees, highways, vaporized. Then, thick clouds of ash rise into the sky. Planes are grounded. Airports shut down. Cities like Denver, Salt Lake City, even Chicago would be buried in ash. And the skies? They go dark. The ash would block sunlight for months. This triggers a volcanic winter. Crops fail. Temperatures drop. Food shortages. Global panic. In just weeks, modern life would start to unravel. So how likely is this? The good news is, not very. Scientists say there's about a 1 in 730,000 chance it'll erupt in any given year. But the bad news? That number isn't zero. Scientists monitor Yellowstone 24-7. They're tracking every rumble, every temperature shift, every little breath the ground takes. And over the years, there have been signs. Swarms of earthquakes. Strange ground movement. Temperature spikes. Maybe it's just normal volcanic activity. Or maybe it's the start of something much bigger. If Yellowstone erupts, we're not just talking about a natural disaster. We're talking about global collapse. Farms would fail. Supply chains would break. Power grids would go offline. People would move in massive numbers. It's not just about lava or ash, it's about what happens after. The systems we rely on, food, fuel, internet, medicine, they're not made to handle something like this. In just months, we could be facing a completely different world. Right now, Yellowstone is calm. Tourists visit. Wildlife roams. The ground sleeps. But deep below, pressure is building. Slowly. Quietly. Patiently. And the truth is, we don't know when it'll wake up. But when it does, the world will never be the same. If you found this video fascinating or a little terrifying, go ahead and hit like to help more people discover it. 
And if you want to explore more hidden dangers, strange science, and mysteries beneath our world, tap subscribe and turn on the bell so you never miss what's lurking just below the surface. Stay curious. Stay prepared. And remember, sometimes the most beautiful places hide the darkest secrets.